So today we are going to make a vegetarian cauliflower butter bowl. Um, it's going to be all plant-based but high in protein and low in carb. So here I have some beets. These are cooked beets. You can get them cooked in any grocery store. I have some spinach. I have mushrooms and I have some sweet potatoes. Now you can use any kind of potatoes but I like to use sweet potatoes because it balances out the savoriness of the mushrooms and the spinach with the sweetness of the beets and the sweet potatoes. So I'm just going to cut these into little chunks and then we are going to put them inside the oven to bake at 380 degrees for a good 20 minutes. So with the beets I am going to put some um, chickpeas. So I have some cooked chickpeas. You can use um, any kind of protein that you want. You can use lentils, you can use chicken, shrimp, um, any kind of protein. Eggs would go great. So I'm just going to cut these beets into little bite-sized pieces, but we're not going to put the beets inside the oven. We're just going to put the sweet potatoes and the chickpeas inside the oven. So we're just going to cut these. So here I have some cooked drained chickpeas. You can use canned ones, but remember to wash them really well before you use them. Here I have my mushrooms. I'm going to cut these mushrooms into, mm, you can dice them. I'm just going to dice them too. We're just going to caramelize the mushrooms with the onion. Um, I have one red onion. You can use yellow onions too, that, or the white ones. So here I have my onion. So I always tear up when I'm peeling onions or cutting onions. If you guys have any, um, hacks for that, do let me know. Just thinly slice them. And here I have my pan with some olive oil and it's already heating. So I'm just going to throw these away. And here is my oil which is already heated and I'm going to put my onions in there. And cook them for a little bit before I add the other stuff. So it, you want them to caramelize. So it takes about five to seven minutes for the onions to caramelize. Now you can add a little bit of sugar. Uh, I use coconut sugar or you can, um, also you can use some salt which um, speeds up the cooking time. See, I'm already tearing up. So for the beets, I'm going to um, dress them up a little bit. So here I have some balsamic um, vinegar. Delete. While the onion, so while the onion is cooking, we're just going to make a dressing for the beets. Here I have some balsamic vinegar and some red wine vinegar. So just that. And a tiny bit of coconut sugar. Mix that all up. There's no oil. We're not going to put any oil or anything. And just mix it up. And we're going to drizzle it over the beets and let those beets sit in there. So 
we're gonna just leave that aside so here is our onion which is already caramelized you can see by adding a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt it does help caramelize the onions faster so we are going to put our mushrooms in there we're going to caramelize the mushroom too So we're going to do all this while we are waiting for the sweet potatoes and the chickpeas to cook in the oven. So let's finish doing this and then we're going to put the chickpeas and the sweet potatoes in the oven. We're going to drizzle those with some olive oil and some salt and pepper. We're going to keep it simple. So I have some olive oil in here with which I'm going to drizzle the sweet potatoes and the chickpeas. So I'm just going to put them in this big bowl. You can just do it over your um, baking sheet too, but I like it. Li like to do it on a in a bowl. So it's easier. Oops! You don't want your mushrooms and your onions to burn. I'm just gonna lower the heat. Those look good. So here I have my sweet potatoes. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut sugar, lots of pepper. Drizzle it with some olive oil, like a tablespoon, and some garlic powder. Now you're just going to mix all that up. Nicely. And that looks good you can rest it and we're going to do it do the same thing to our chickpeas we're going to put some garlic powder lots of pepper and a little bit of olive oil okay so now this is well done. We're going to add our spinach to it. I'm going to add the spinach last. And just let it wilt. Just hanging around. So you can see my spinach have wilted beautifully. So we're going to leave that over there. And here I have my riced cauliflower. We're going to add this riced cauliflower into this pan and cook that. So this is just um, frozen riced cauliflower. You can make it fresh, but remember when you make it fresh, you have to take the water out of the cauliflower. So you put some salt and let it hang in a cheesecloth and let all that water drain from it. But once when you use the frozen one, um, the water kind of, I don't know what happens to it, but the water kind of is much less in it. So I like to use the frozen one. So I'm just going to let that hang in there. I'm going to put the heat up. And we're going to add salt and pepper to this last. So I'm just going to let that be. And while that is cooking, so you saw we added very little oil to it, not too much. So I have my baking sheet lined with some aluminum foil that's hot. And I'm going to put my sweet potatoes in there. And 
and my chickpeas in there too. Now, as I said, you can use chicken, you can use shrimp, you can use steak, you can use whatever you want. Tofu goes very well with this too. Um, Indian paneer goes very well. So just, just do whatever you feel like. I'm just going to put that in the oven. And let that be there. So this is almost done. I'm just going to put a handful of crushed thyme. This is just dried one. You can use fresh. Mm, it smells so good. So here is our marinated cooked beets, the balsamic rice vinegar and some coconut sugar. And I'm going to add some goat cheese to it. This is just um, a regular goat cheese. I'm just going to crumble that up. I love goat cheese. I'm going to use my fingers to do that. I'm going to add some more. Not too much though. I think that's good enough. You're just going to mix that up. Now you can add mint to it. I do not like mint in my salad or with beets or with cheese. So I'm not going to add that, but you could add that. So let me give it a taste test. So good. So, let that be. Yeah. So, we are going to assemble our bowl now. Here is our cauliflower, mushroom, spinach, rice. So, we're going to put that on our bowl. Oh, I made some fried eggs too. You can add that if, if you want to. Then we are going to put our sweet potatoes in the bowl on one side. I'm going to put a little bit of the chickpeas. We're going to put our beets with our goat cheese. And then we are going to complete that with one fried egg. And that's your bowl. It's healthy, delicious, and it's quick and easy to make. Enjoy!